Welcome to Autopilot's training video series designed to help you get the most from your Profit Pilot system. This video is one in the series on promotions and will cover how to set up wash books in your system. This will also include how to set up monthly unlimited recurring programs as well. Now, let's begin. First, we'll access the Profit Pilot back office software by opening an internet browser window and entering www.profitpilot.net. Go ahead and enter your username and password and click Login to load the system. Click the Promotions tab to display a list of all available promotions in the system. If your Profit Pilot is brand new, you may not see information listed in this window. If we scroll down, we'll be able to see any wash books that are set up in the system. We'll go ahead and specify a new wash book. To do this, we'll want to click Prepaid Wash Book from the Actions box on the left. This will display a blank window where we can now create a new wash book promotion. You have two types of wash book promotions. The first would be a set of prepaid washes that is usually assigned to either a barcoded tag or a plastic card. For example, buy 10 washes at a discounted rate. Your customer is prepaying for 10 washes, but they can only use those washes when they come in with their card to redeem them. The second type of washbook promotion is a monthly unlimited program. In this example, the customer would pay a fixed amount of money every month, and their credit card is placed on file and then automatically charged. So a customer could pay $40 a month and be able to wash unlimited times for a specific wash package. Both of these promotions are washbooks and will be set up under the washbook on promotions. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we'll set a group of prepaid washes on a card first. You can enter an item SKU number or use the SKU that's automatically assigned by the Profit Pilot. You'll want to enter a name for your washbook promotion as well as a description. Click the drop down arrow to specify the department to attach this washbook to. In selling information, you'll want to enter the amount that you're going to charge for the washes. Please note this is not the individual price of the wash, but the grand total price that you're going to charge for all washes in the promotion. You can specify that this item is fixed, or you can have the system prompt the cashier to enter a price. Normally, prepaid wash books are set to a fixed price. If your wash books are taxable, you'll want to specify your tax option in the drop down. This window will automatically populate from the tax rates you've already defined in the Setup tab. If the washbook is exempt from tax, you can check the Tax Exempt box. In the Promotion details, we can specify the expiration date of this washbook. For example, when a customer purchases the washbook, they have up to one year to use their prepaid washes. You can specify any expiration date using days, months, or years. When this washbook is sold from the point of sale, if you want to require your cashier to attach a customer's information to the transaction, you'll want to check the customer link required. The system will not allow the cashier to sell a washbook when a customer's name has not been attached to the transaction. If you allow your cashiers to sell washbooks without a customer link, you can leave the box unchecked. When a washbook is redeemed at the point of sale and you want to require that their card is actually present, you'll want to check the card present box. This will enable the cashier to swipe the card and process the transaction. If the customer does not have their card available, the cashier will not be able to redeem the washes. If you would like to have a redemption for your washbook subtracted from your dollar over vase report, you'll want to check this box. The dollar over base report is used for washes that track commissions for their greeters. If you don't track commissions, you can simply leave this box unchecked. If this washbook is a monthly unlimited where the transaction will recur every month, you'll check recurring. Because we're setting up a washbook that's simply prepaid washes, we will not check the recurring box. When you sell a group of prepaid washes, the actual redemption price can be set at the time of sale or at the time of redemption. This is when the value of the sold items is determined. You can specify either option here. And finally at the bottom you'll want to specify the washes that this promotion applies to. 
If you're doing a group of prepaid washes, you'll want to click the drop down arrow and specify the washes that you want to have attached to this promotion. In our example, we're doing a group of 10 prepaid washes, so in the box on the right, we'll want to enter 10. This tells the system the customer is allowed to wash on the $10 wash and they're allowed to use it 10 times before their card will expire. When all changes for your wash book have been entered, you'll want to click the Submit button to save them. Once your wash book has been saved in the system, you'll see it listed on the Promotions tab. If you need to edit any parameters within your wash book, you'll want to click the wrench in the Edit column. Notice from here you can also view the individual card data for wash books that have been sold, as well as the historical transaction information. We'll take a look in more detail at these items after the point of sale. Now let's take a look at how to set up a monthly recurring wash book. The window is the same as we used for prepaid washes. The only differences in a monthly recurring transaction is that your amount will always be a fixed price. You're going to automatically charge the customer that fixed price every month. Their credit card information will be stored on the payment gateway and the system will automatically charge the customer's card. So you'll want to set the monthly amount that you want to charge the customer in the amount field and make your price fixed. Under the promotion details, you'll want to set your expiration to default to one month. This means that the customer's card will be valid for the entire month that their credit card has been charged for. At the end of the month, if their card were to be declined or no longer work, their washbook card would expire and they would no longer be able to wash unlimited times. All monthly recurring programs need to have a one month expiration date. You'll also want to make the customer link mandatory. You absolutely want to capture your customer's information on all monthly recurring transactions in case you need to contact them for any reason. Recurring transactions also must have the recurring box checked. This will enable the system to automatically charge the customer's credit card automatically every month. And finally, at the bottom, you'll want to specify the specific wash that this promotion applies to. Your customer will need to choose a wash package. In the box on the right, you'll want to enter how many times per month this customer is allowed to use their card. If you want to set it to unlimited, you can enter a very high number such as 99. If you want to allow your customer to wash but not more than one time per day, you could enter a number such as 31. This would allow your customer to have 31 washes for the month, but not exceed that number. Depending on how your monthly unlimited program is defined, you can enter whatever number is applicable for you. When all changes have been saved, be sure and click the Submit button to save them. This will create a recurring monthly plan in your system. If your car wash has multiple recurring plans, for example, a basic, a deluxe, and a premium wash, you'll want to create a wash book promotion for each of your three levels. Once your wash books have been created, you'll probably want to add them to a point of sale button. Remember, all wash books are automatically added to the items tab on the point of sale. Let's look at how to add your wash book to a point of sale button. We'll click the setup tab. We'll choose POS buttons from the setup box on the left. This will display a graphical representation of your POS selling buttons. Specify the page that you'd like to add your washbook promotion to. We'll click Promotions. Find an empty button and click the empty link. From the key type, you'll want to select Promotion. In the Promotion type, select Washbook. In the Promotion field, click the drop-down and specify the name of the washbook that was just created. And in the Key Text field, enter the characters that the cashier will see on the point of sale to sell this. When complete, click the Update key. If your system is set to automatic batching, a batch will be sent down to your point of sale. If not, you'll want to send out a manual batch to your point of sale to update your POS buttons. Remember, any changes to POS buttons do require a restart of your point of sale software. Now that we've created wash books, let's go to the point of sale to see how to sell and redeem them. On your point of sale screen, make sure to log in using your cashier's user ID and password. This will put the system in a state where it's now ready to sell. 
The first type of wash book we'll sell is a group of prepaid washes. We'll begin the transaction by selecting a customer's information. We can do this by using the Customers tab or the License Search menu. We'll choose the Customers tab. Select the customer that you would like to add to your transaction and click the yellow Select button. This will display your customer's information on the left-hand side of the screen. We'll now choose the Promotions tab and we'll find the wash book that we created. We'll choose a pack of five washes called our Coach Class. Select the button and the prepaid processing window will be displayed. At this point, if you're assigning your wash books to a plastic card, you'll want to swipe the card on the side of the touchscreen monitor. If you are using a barcoded tag affixed to the customer's windshield, you'll want to scan the tag. This will enter the number in the wash book field. You can also manually enter a number by using the keypad on the right. When complete, click OK. This will add the transaction to our system. We'll now see the customer's prepaid group of washes listed in the items list. At this point, the cashier can tender the transaction by choosing a quick cash button or an additional tender type. We'll choose $20 quick cash. The wash book has now been activated. When your customer comes back in to redeem their washes, we'll show you how to do that now. To begin the transaction, we'll again select our customer's information. We'll now choose the Coach Class Wash, and instead of paying for this wash with cash, we'll either scan the barcoded tag or swipe the card. We'll do that after we specify the wash book tender type. From this window, enter the barcode number or swipe the card. Click OK. That wash will now be deducted from the wash book. We can see the value of our wash book at any time by going to the Selling Functions tab. Under Selling Functions, there is a Promotion Balance Inquiry. We can swipe our card or enter our card number. This will display the type of wash book that was sold to our customer, the dollar amount, if any, remember this is a wash book so it only has washes on it and not a dollar value, and the balance of four washes that are now remaining on this card. Because we attach the customer's information to the card, we'll be able to see it on the Customer tab. We'll also be able to see the customer's purchase history on the History tab. We can see the initial wash book sale for $20 and the tender type for three when this wash book was redeemed. When we're done viewing this information, we can click Cancel to clear the window. Your customer will be able to redeem their wash book until all washes have been used from the card. You can add additional washes to a customer's card simply by selling another wash book and swiping the same card. When this is done, the new washes will simply be added to any remaining washes still left on the wash book. To sell a monthly recurring wash book, the process is the same. First, select your customer. This time, we'll use the License Search button. Choose your monthly recurring promotion. You'll want to swipe or scan the number that you want to associate with the recurring transaction. The difference is that this time when you tender out the transaction, you do not want to choose a cash option. Make sure that your cashier chooses the credit tender type. Please be aware that monthly recurring transactions cannot be processed through the Profit Pilot unless you are doing integrated credit card processing. If you're processing credit card through a separate terminal, you'll need to have that switched over to process directly through the Profit Pilot. Once the credit type is selected, you'll see a screen. The cashier will simply swipe the customer's credit card number. That information will then be captured in the system and uploaded to the payment gateway. The transaction will be completed and the card is now good for monthly unlimited transactions. For monthly recurring wash books, you may find it necessary to update a customer's credit card information that's on file. You can do this from the prepaid update button on the Selling Functions page. Click Selling Functions and we'll want to choose our prepaid update button. This will display the prepaid update window. From here, you can either swipe or enter your card number. This will open up the customer's wash book information. If you need to cancel the recurring billing, you can do this by clicking the Cancel Recurring button. 
This will stop any future recurring billing transactions on this washbook. If the customer needs to be assigned a new washbook number, you can enter that number in the new card number field. This may happen in a situation where a customer has lost their washbook or perhaps their card has become damaged. You can assign them to a brand new card number. You can do this by swiping the card or entering a new number on the keypad provided. Once a new number has been entered, you'll want to click Update Prepaid to save the information in the system. The customer's original washbook number will become invalid and it will no longer work at the car wash. Once you click Update Prepaid, the window will be cleared from the screen. Please be aware that the prepaid update is a button that needs to be programmed on your point of sale. If you don't have this button, you can add it to your system from the POS buttons under the Setup tab in your back office software. We recommend that any car wash doing monthly recurring transactions adds this button to their system. Please be aware that access to the prepaid update is also restricted by security permissions. You'll want to make sure that any staff at your car wash has permissions to enter this window if they need to update credit card numbers or cancel recurring billing transactions. You can also cancel recurring billing transactions for washbooks from the back office software. To do this, we'll switch back to the back office. From the Promotions tab, we'll scroll down to the bottom of the window and we'll select our washbook. We'll want to click the icon under the Card Data column. This will display individual card data for any washbooks that have been issued. We'll find the washbook that we're interested in and we'll click the wrench in the Edit column. This will display the individual card information. From here, you'll be able to cancel a recurring billing transaction by checking the Cancel box. Once the transaction is canceled, it cannot be re-enabled. If a customer wishes to reactivate their monthly account, you'll need to issue them a new washbook card and accept their credit card information the same way you would for a brand new customer. And a few final notes about washbooks. Remember, all your washbooks will be displayed on the Promotions tab. You'll want to scroll to the very bottom of the screen. If you'd like to edit any washbook parameters, you want to click the wrench in the Edit column. If you need to delete any of your washbook promotions, simply click the Delete. When creating monthly recurring washbooks, don't forget to check the Recurring box. This is very important. If this box is not checked, the washbook will not automatically charge the customer's credit card every month. In order to do recurring monthly billing, you do need to have your credit card processing integrated through the Profit Pilot. To check this, click the Setup tab. From Setup, scroll to the bottom of the screen and find your point of sale information. Click the wrench in the Edit column. Scroll down to your credit card gateway information. And you'll also want to have the Enable Recurring Billing checkbox selected. This will activate recurring billing in your system. If you have not established integrated credit card processing, you'll want to do that before accepting monthly unlimited programs. All of your washbooks will be reported on your reports. To access reports, click on the Reports tab. When you run your daily reports, you'll be able to see any washbooks that are sold on the report, the same as any other coupon discount or promotion. Remember, you can simply choose your report and then click View Report to see all reports on screen. Reports can also be printed or exported into Excel and PDF formats. You can also view our training video on reporting if you need more specific information on how to generate your reports. This concludes the video on washbooks. We hope you found the information helpful and informative. 